Hey, I'm Greg Kasavin, writer and creative director at Supergiant Games, and one of the developers of Hades. In this quick video, I want to introduce you to some of the gods, ghosts, and monsters you'll meet in our rendition of the ancient Greek underworld. You don't need any prior interest in Greek myth to get into Hades, but as you play, maybe you'll get to wondering how much of this stuff comes from mythology. The answer is, a whole lot! Greek myth is filled with wild, fascinating, often contradictory stories of these larger-than-life characters. The Olympians are a big, complicated family, always bickering and always pushing each other, and their portrayals in classical mythology inspired our portrayals in Hades. Let's start with Hades himself. What is it now? Of a mountain of infernal parchment work. He's often relegated to the role of villain in many modern adaptations of Greek myth, but in classical mythology, he's a complicated guy, and much more principled than some of his brothers or sisters. He's so fascinating, we made a whole game about him. As the god of the dead, Hades has an imposing reputation to live up to, so he even has a monstrous pet in the three-headed hound of hell, Cerberus. The idea that this savage beast was still somebody's pet dog crystallized how we wanted to portray the gods in Hades, that despite being immortal and all-powerful, they're not so different from the rest of us. Though, let's not forget Zagreus. We've heard from many players who figured Zagreus was a god of our own creation. After all, who's ever heard of Hades having any kids? But according to some ancient sources, he did. Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. In classical mythology, Zagreus is a little-known Chthonic god, meaning a god of the underworld, sometimes associated with Dionysus, the god of wine. But in other cases, he is associated with Hades. How could Hades have a son nobody knows about? How does he fit into the myths we do know of Hades? We were so drawn to answering these questions that they form the basis for the entire story of this game. If you're the prince of the underworld, who do you get as your personal trainer? That would be Achilles, a near-invincible warrior in his day, once called the greatest of the Greeks. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. Hades takes place after his untimely demise during the Trojan War, once he's had a lot of time to reflect on his life choices. Achilles lived in glory, so he's got an okay gig in the afterlife, but some wretched souls end up in a really bad spot in the underworld, and for better or worse, they get to meet Megara. Ever stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. She is one of the three Fury Sisters tasked with torturing some of the absolute worst souls for all eternity, and in our game, she's also tasked with making sure Zagreus doesn't make it out of the underworld. These two have a lot of history, and since the story of Hades keeps moving forward each time you play, the more you run into Megara, the better you'll get to know her. There's also Thanatos. Death approaches. He may decide to drop in on you when he isn't busy whisking the souls of the recently departed to the underworld. Thought you could just get away from me, did you? He is the personification of death, according to Greek myth, though represents more of a peaceful death than, say, the kind that happened a lot during something like the Trojan War. So even though he can seem a little sinister at first, in the spirit of the mythology, we wanted our Thanatos to have a gentler side. Thanatos has a couple of brothers in Hades, such as Hypnos here, the personification of sleep. What? Paul says here one of the wretched thugs got you too bad. When he's not dozing on the job, Hypnos can comment on every single possible way you can die in this game, of the dozens and dozens of different possibilities. Where did all these gods of the underworld come from anyway? According to the Theogony, an ancient Greek creation myth by Hesiod that introduces all the gods and their ancestors, many of the Chthonic gods came from Nyx, the personification of night. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. She is a primordial goddess, meaning she is much older even than Hades or the Olympians. And in our game, she has an important role in the underworld, not the least of which is helping you unlock some of your hidden power. There are 30 different characters to meet and grow closer to the more you play Hades, and we hope you enjoy getting to know them all. Some of them feel truly ancient and godlike. Some are funny, some are scary. We found them incredibly inspiring and look forward to hearing what you think once you get to meet them for yourself.